another Veg Inspired video. Today we are making Buddha Bowls. Buddha Bowls in the Veg Inspired Kitchen are a, a go-to. We probably make them at least three or maybe even four times a month. Sometimes every week we make Buddha Bowls. This week we are trying them with the toasted quinoa from I Heart Quinoa. So part of our Buddha Bowl process is to make big batches of our ingredients and then we can mix and match them throughout the week. So it's, it's kind of our version of meal prepping, but we like to think of it as ingredient prepping. So in this case, we're gonna cook this entire bag of quinoa. So when you look at the cooking instructions on any bag of grain, you see that it has the ingredient plus some water and then a cooking time. So if you wanna cook this whole bag, how are you gonna do that? This says one cup of quinoa to two cups of water. So what you do is you do equal parts of the grain and equal parts of water, and then you say, in this instance, instance you take the, the amount of water minus the amount of grain. So in this one, it would be two cups minus one cup. And that leaves you with one cup extra. So you're gonna do equal parts water, equal parts grain, and then add in that extra cup that we subtracted. Does that make sense? Let me show you with another type of grain. So we grabbed this bag of amaranth, and as a side note, if you haven't tried it, you totally need to. The cooking instructions on here say three cups of water to one cup of amaranth. So in our batch cooking pro tip, you would do, let's say if you're doing three cups of amaranth, equal parts, amaranth and water, three cups of water, three cups of amaranth, that gets our basic ratio. And then in order to do the batch cooking pro tip, when you're increasing the amount of the ingredients, you would take the three cups of water that are on the directions, subtract the one cup of amaranth, that gives you two cups. So your pro tip addition would be two additional cups of water. So to cook three cups of amaranth, it would be five cups of water and three cups of amaranth. All right, well, we're gonna get cooking our quinoa and uh, stay tuned for the rest of this video. We're gonna add our water. So we dump that in, now we're gonna give it a quick stir. And then we're gonna bring our pot of quinoa and water to a boil. So it's time to assemble our Buddha bowl, or in our case, a Buddha plate, because we have this amazing spread of vegetables, and I just need more room on my plate. So we're gonna start with the quinoa. And then it's just a rainbow. We're gonna do some peppers, some tomatoes, some finely shredded carrot, a couple of clumps of cauliflower, and then I'll just break those into pieces. A clump of sprouts. Those are broccoli sprouts that we sprouted ourselves. Some chickpeas, a couple of broccoli florets to peel apart. Holy cow, look at this rainbow of an Eat More Plants Buddha Bowl. Talk about plants. I like my greens, so I'm gonna do a bigger pile of those. And then, for one of my favorites, also finely shredded, we've got some beets. These are local grown organic beets, finely shredded, they're raw. Then I'm gonna scoop my avocado. So we've already pre-sliced it. And you just take the spoon right around it. You gotta get every last bit of avocado. Who's with me? Comment below if you're with me. Every last bit. And then we're going to do a, some regular tahini. This is our go-to tahini sauce. Just gonna give it a quick drizzle. And then we whipped up for you 
a balsamic tahini, which I'm also gonna give it a quick drizzle. And then our secret touch is seasoned rice vinegar. This just gives it an extra tang, and I like to make sure that it really gets in, so I kinda go just a little drizzle on each of the veggies, and then some on the lettuce. Typically I put that on before I put the dressings on, but I didn't get to it today. And then the last thing is a tablespoon of hemp heart. So there you have it, my super messy, super easy. All the ingredients were pre-prepped. All we did tonight was whip up a batch of quinoa, which you can easily pre-prep on a Sunday or whatever day you prep, and we made our tahini dressing. I will put the full recipes for those in the description below, so make sure you check it out. Give this video a thumbs up if you absolutely love the idea of ingredient prepping your Buddha bowl. Uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of our awesome uh, recipes and we also do a what we eat vegan in Pittsburgh series so we hope you enjoyed this video until next time eat more plants like this delicious veg inspired Buddha bowl and let veg inspired have a great night